Howdy strangers, this is Boaz Fala with Daily Astrology Forecast for Purim, that's 23rd of March 2016. So, how you've all been doing? As you know, today is uh, Purim, Jewish Halloween. In the video yesterday we said we'll explain the difference between Halloween and Purim in the different traditions. Well, as some of you know, Halloween is really... Hello, Georgia. It's really the Celtic New Year. It's a time in which in Ireland, Ireland, um, they believed that spirits that are, have not ascended to heaven or descended to hell and roam between the planes, and roam between the planes, choose hosts to cling to during the next year. So uh, um, they didn't want them to cling to them, so they made their houses dark, extinguishing all fire and all warmth, ex uh, extinguishing the lights. And they dressed up in these gruesome costumes uh, to scare the spirits away and make them think that their house is cold and the people are sick, so it wouldn't be good for them to cling to them for the next year. And when the new year is passed, runners from the temple, from the high temple, w uh, would bring torches from the eternal fire, the eternal flame that would be in that temple, that would be the only fire in Ireland that would still be burning throughout the year. And they would go out with torches, run to every village in Ireland and rekindle the fires in the villages from that eternal flame at the temple. It's a beautiful story. In Purim, the Jewish tradition, it's a totally different story. And when we uh, put on our customs in the Jewish tradition. It is in the same noun in Hebrew, putting on a costume, is in the same noun in Hebrew as searching. So it is as if you search in Purim for an alter ego that maybe you've been missing, that maybe you wanted to externalize. And in Purim, as you know, we are commanded to drink until we don't know good from evil. And again, this is in order so that Jews could really um, lose their inhibitions and be themselves. So in a, in a sense, this holiday has a lot to do with putting hidden sides of yourself outside and being acknowledged that it is okay to be yourself in a sense, putting some of that hidden alter ego on the table plainly for everyone to see. So let's talk about today. Today is a very powerful day. We have a partial lunar eclipse happening at around 1300 hours Central European time. That's around 700 hours Eastern Standard Time. You might get to see it. New York, people in Los Angeles for sure can see that partial lunar eclipse. It's a time with a lot of energies Remember that a, a lunar eclipse is a full moon. And <clears throat> today this lunar eclipse occurs when Mercury is in a Kazemi in the heart of the sun, really getting the power of the sun. So this, uh, uh, this eclipse has a lot to do with our thoughts, with our words. And it really puts us on track that we're going to go on for a few months now. And, and really settles the changes that have begun with the solar eclipse three weeks ago. So really it sets things for the next few months emotionally and cognitively. So it's a great time to set your intentions today. It's a great time to be in focus regarding your future, regarding your life. And as this eclipse passes onwards, at around 1700 hours Central European time, that's around 1100 hours Eastern Standard Time, we get a sextile to Mars. What could be better than that to really start us off on our new way? The energy flowing freely, we feel assertive, we feel good, we feel like we can head on, like the road is open, like, like we can do it, and that's great. And then a bit later on, at around 2000 hours Central European time, that's around 1400 hours Eastern Standard Time, there's a quincunx to Vesta, really talking about that we have to understand that in order to go on, some things must be left behind. Some things have 
live out their usefulness. They're not part of our future and we need to acknowledge that they're now just a part of our past. Remember Jupiter is querying Saturn in the sky. It's not a time to wait for confirmations from the outside in a time. It is a time to believe in yourself even though you might be uh, full of self-doubts or fears or anxieties. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Be who you are. It's the best that you can be. So thank you for listening. Happy Purim everybody and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.